Oh, um, is it record? Am I recording? Is this Memorex? Oh, everybody, Wolfgang here. The little counter thing wasn't moving. I didn't know if it was recording or not. Anyway, hello, everybody. It's Wolfgang here. It is Friday, January the 5th, and it's cold outside. We're supposed to get snow sometime after midnight, I think they're saying. Um, it's not going to amount to anything, so it's no big deal. Wasn't a bad day at work. Uh, and there's all kinds of kinds of news. Uh, I will share. Uh, we had at the high school that I actually went to, Coleraine High School, um, a student beat the crap out of a female teacher so bad that uh, she went into surgery and they had to cut the top of her skull and take it off to relieve the swelling on her brain. That's how bad this 16-year-old boy beat her. Unfriggin' believable. And this happened yesterday. <clears throat> I don't He should be put away for life. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anger issues. That's past anger issues. Uh, disrespect. Uh, that shit. That's messed up. That's that's really messed up. So anyway, um, if you can see what's scrolling at the bottom of my screen, that's what I'm going to talk about. Some new tropical disease has been found. My wife actually uh, pointed this out to me last night. She came across this article. So it says, uh, oh, first we got breaking news. The Supreme Court will decide if Trump can be kept off 2024 presidential ballots. I call bullshit. Anyway. Scientists sound the alarm over deadly tropical disease discovered in southern U.S. It is critical to prevent infection. Tropical disease that recently infiltrated the United States has pushed scientists to sound the alarm for health care providers to be on the lookout. What's happening? The disease called... Meliodosis has been diag uh, diagnosed in the U.S. before, though most of those cases were linked to traveling to tropical or subtropical areas where the bacterium, that's kind of a weird one, that causes it was known to be present. South and Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, and parts of Central and South America and Puerto Rico. Medscape and the Centers of Disease Control reported. The bacterium that causes the illness, Berkeleydria pseudomonilla, that's a mouthful, I can't say it. Anyway, whatever this disease is, is now newly uh, endemic to the southern continental U.S., as reported by Medscape and CDC in April of 2023. Residents in Gulf Coast states should be aware that the disease may be present in their environments because up to nine out of every ten people who get it die. Wow, that's Okay. Worldwide without treatment, per the CDC, and is still fatal to two out of 10 with the best medical care. A January 2023 case marked the third diagnosis in Mississippi since 2020, according to Medscape and CDC. The first two cases were likely uh, participated by contact with the bacterium in the soil around people's homes. Uh, and this disease, I'm not going to try and say it again, and it says can also be present in water, according to the Mississippi State Department of Health. 
Symptoms of the melodosis include fever, joint pain, and headaches. And the disease can lead to pneumonia, abscesses, and blood infections. Hmm. Why is this concerning? The development could be at least in part a, a result of rising global temperatures. Here we go again with the... the uh, that, that kills me. According to a paper in Current Opinion in Infectious Diseases, climate change could directly impact on the distribution of B, the melodosis, whatever it is. Boy, they, they sure do like to use that climate change word a lot. As human-produced heat-trapping gases envelop Earth, regions once free of certain bacteria and infection parasites may no longer be safe. And... 2014, a Central Texas three-year-old was diagnosed with another rare tropical disease, and I'm not going to try and say it. Oh, oh come on. I'll, I'll try. Leishus menaces, a more common example of this phenomenon of disease expanding its range, is the increasing spread of West Nile virus. And what's being done? It is crit critical to prevent inf infection through the feet and lower legs after flooding or storms. The department advises golf coasters, especially those with chronic illnesses such as diabetes, chronic kidney disease, chronic lung disease, or excessive alcohol use, to avoid contact with soil or muddy water, especially after heavy rains. The MSDH also recommends protecting open wounds with waterproof dressings, wearing waterproof boots when gardening or during doing agricultural work, and wearing gloves when working directly with soil. CDC encourages uh, clinical clinicals and Gulf Coast region of the southern United States and throughout the country to learn about the melodysis doses and to be aware of the potential for more non-travel cases as CDC and state partners continue investigating the geographic spread of B. pseudofeminili <laughs> and the Medscape uh, report said. Okay, that's it. So there is a tropical disease around, and they've known about it since, uh, what, last April, it said. But now we're just getting news about it. Hmm. And this was posted 11 hours ago. So, but like I said, my, uh, my wife saw this article last night. I was like, okay. I'll, I'll look into it, and I came home from work. And it's like, it's kind of interesting. But here's a question for you. All of the people that are coming into the United States illegally, how many of them have different types of diseases we don't know about? Uh, if I remember right, when COVID was going on and they were still coming across the border into the U.S., they weren't given the jab. As far as we know, maybe a few. I don't know. I, would, I wasn't there, so I can't say. But we're talking a lot of people coming across that border. How many of them already have whatever kind of disease? It doesn't matter. You know, that's that's why we give, most people get their shots when they're babies. So, but uh, I thought I would share this uh, tropical disease report with everybody. And like I said, like I always say, you can look it up. I don't know how to drop the link below. <clears throat> and that's okay. So I hope everybody has a great Friday evening. 
um, it is the weekend. Let's see how much snow we get tomorrow. They're not predicting much. They're saying maybe like two inches. So, I'm, you know, I ain't too worried about it. Plus, the ground's not cold enough uh, for it to stick that long. So, anyway, this is Wolf Fang. Everybody had a, have a great Friday evening. Blessed be, stay safe, and I will chat with you all later.